Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680, or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. I've finished the Victor 3 motor, and I'm going to show you some things about the motor. First of all, the main drive gear was worn on one side, so I flipped it and re-riveted it back on right here. I've set the governor gear off center a little bit because the gear was marginal and it was running well, but I thought it ran a little bit smoother off center. So I brought the gear up just a little bit. I'm going to show you the rest of it. So what you do is you have this in brass bearing right here. Walk around. We have this in brass bearing right here. So when the motor's running, let's just turn it on here. It's running. How do I adjust that bearing? Back this off. And if you screw this in, it'll slow down. So you want to back this bearing off a little. Ah, now you see the spring barrel running? It stopped the barrel. There you go. You have that adjusted. The fresh leathers on the governor still aren't soaked up enough with the oil because I put brand new ones on, so I'm having to re-oil a lot. The other thing is, I'll just reach underneath to grab it. That's the right spacing and gapping for the governor right here. The other thing I do, because this motor had a lot of wear on it, I always preach about the sewing machine oil, and I use sewing machine oil. But when I put the machine together, the spindle shaft going through had a little bit of play in it. So what I use is Philwood bicycle chain oil because this stuff is real tacky. You see how it, let's do that. You can see how it does that, it's very tacky. So I put that in the spindle shaft down here where the turntable goes. I put it in here where the ball bearing goes and I put it on the gears right here. So if you watch the gear right here, we'll stop the motor. When I crank, you'll see down here, you see how that black marks in the center of the gear? When I crank it up right here, you see it? that oil sticks to the gear. So it doesn't run off. It's very a tacky chain lube for bicycles. So I set everything up on this, and this thing just purrs like a kitten now. Some victors, you can hear a noise. That's coming from the, the governor gear, this brass gear. You do get a little bit of that whirl sound because this is an early motor. I lubed, I lubed the spindle shaft with my silicone polymer grease that I get at O'Reilly Automotive in the United States. This stuff works very well. It's very tacky and sticky, like the Philwood oil I just showed you. I packed the spring barrels with it. And if you listen, That's normal for an early victor. If this was later in the 20s, they changed things around and you don't get that because they went to a finer tooth on the governor. You know, this is a lot of fun. All I have to do is clean the cabinet, put everything back together, and that's my tip for the day.